Hello everybody. Ooh, it's really hot today. So today I thought we'd have a story in the garden. I'm sitting on my steps but I've got all the things I need here for the story. Let's see if we are ready for a story. This is the big bowl. This is the teeny tiny shiny spoon. I'm going to make a noise with a big bowl and the teeny tiny shiny spoon. And if you can hear it, it means we're nearly ready for the story. Are you ready? Did you hear it? Today, the big bowl feels really hot. That's because the sun is shining into the big bowl. It's so shiny. It's making the bowl look like the sun. This is the middle sized bowl. And this is the teeny tiny shiny spoon. This one is even hotter. Let's see if you can hear it. Did you hear it? Good, we can hear the big bowl, we can hear the middle sized bowl. But this. This is the teeny tiny bowl. And this, do you know, this is almost too hot to touch. Ah, so we'll do it quick. <gasps> Did you hear it? That's good. Then, now it's time for story time, story time, story time. Now it's time for story time. We'll sit and listen together. Now, you might be in the house, you might be in the garden, you might be sitting on a chair or on someone's lap or anywhere, but this is how the story begins. Once upon a time and a long time ago and far, far away, do you know, the sun and the moon, they didn't live in the sky way up high oh no they lived in a house like you and me of course it was quite a big house because the sun was big and the moon was big too the sun liked everything to be light and bright in the house and the moon liked everything to be clean in the house and the moon was always going round polishing and scrubbing and rubbing to get everything in the house sparkling clean. The moon liked to stay in the house. The moon only went out at night. The sun loved to be out all day and loved going visiting and one of the sun's best friends was water. Now, water, water was deep and water was wide and there were lots of things inside like, yes, fishes, yes, Dolphins, yes, crabs, yes, sharks, yes, octopuses. There were puddles and ponds and rivers and streams and lakes. And of course, splish, splish, the sea. Now the sun liked to go and visit water wherever she might be and the sun shone down, shine, shine and the sun made water glitter and sparkle, shine, shine and water would say thank you for visiting me today sun and sun would say oh water, water please why don't you come and visit me? Why don't you come and see me in my house? And you can say hello to Moon too. 
and water said, Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because water was deep and water was wide and there were lots of things inside. Oh yes, said the sun. Oh yes, said the sun, I'm sure. But maybe, maybe we should make our house a little bit bigger. So the sun went home and said to Moon, 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 water is going to come and visit us. But water is very deep and very wide and there are lots of things inside so we need to make the house bigger. So Sun and Moon started building right there and then. They built walls higher and higher. They knocked through wider and wider. The house got taller. The house got wider. The house got bigger. And soon it was an enormous house. I think, said Sun, our house is big enough. So Sun rolled out of the door and went to see Water. So Sun said to Water, Please, please come and visit our house. We've made it taller. We've made it wider. We've made it so clean. We'd love you to come and visit. And once again, Water said, Are you sure? And Sun said, yes. So it was decided that the very next day, Water would visit the house. Well, this is what happened. Water started to dribble. Water started to drop. Water started to flow. Water started to go every puddle, every pool, every pond, every lake, every river, every ocean, every sea. Splash! So water was deep and water was wide and there were so many things inside and splash! They all arrived at the door of Sun and Moon's house. Sun and Moon were so excited that they flung the door wide and let all the water inside. <laughs> the water flowed in, over the floor, right through the door, into the living room, into the kitchen through the hall and up the walls. Now we know that the water was deep and the water was wide and there were so many things inside. There were fishes on the carpet, there were lobsters on the table, there was a dolphin in the sink. Oh my goodness! said the sun. Oh my goodness, my shiny floors, said the moon. But more and more and more and more and more water flowed in through the door and now it was rising up the steps. Up one, up two, up three, up Four more and more and more and the sun and the moon rolled up the stairs ahead of the water until they got to their bedrooms. Well the water didn't stop. It rose and it rose and it rose up the stairs higher and higher. <laughs> there was water in the bathroom and water in the bath. There was water on the bed and the moon said oh my lovely clean sheets. And the sun looked in the bath and because the water was deep and the water was wide and there were a lot of things inside, there was a crocodile in the bath. Oh! said the moon. Oh! 
said the sun, look in the sink. And in the sink, what do you think? Little crabs, little fish, swirling seaweed, and an octopus. Help said the sun. Help, said the moon. What shall we do? Well, the sun looked at the moon. And the moon looked at the sun. We better go into the loft, they said. So they got the ladder and they climbed up the ladder and they went into the loft and they waited. But the water was deep and the water was wide and there were a lot of things inside and the water just rose and rose and rose and rose and soon it was bubbling up into the loft oh oh said the sun oh said the moon there's nothing for it and quickly they bashed a hole in the roof until they could see the sky jump said the sun. Yes, jump, said the moon. One, two, three. <sighs> the sun and the moon jumped through that roof and high, high, they flew into the sky and they looked down on their house. until it was completely covered with water. I said, said the water, are you sure? I said, are you sure? But the sun and the moon were so high in the sky they couldn't hear. If you look in the sky now, of course that's where the sun and the moon live way up high there's no danger that the water can wet them right up there and they like it up there in the sky the sun is really enjoying herself today she is shining so brightly and so hot do you know she played a little trick on me because when I started this story, I was sitting on my steps in the garden and the sun was shining down and it was shining on my shiny bowl. But it got hotter and hotter and hotter. But I kept going and I told the whole story on the steps. But when I came to look at my iPad, which is how I'm talking to you now, my iPad had gone boom and stopped. And it said, emergency, emergency, too hot, too hot. And my iPad had stopped. So I came to tell the rest of the story under my lovely big silver birch tree in my garden. It stretches up high, not as high as the sun and the moon, but it makes a kind of lovely shade. And I have an umbrella too. I'll show you. Here we go. There's my umbrella. You can see the sun is playing with my umbrella. It's making shadow patterns. Do you know what? This gave me an idea of what we can make to go with the story today. I'll record that in another little video and I'll show it to you soon. But for now, it's time for us to do this. I think we'll use the pretend sun. Here we go. Let's put the sun up in the sky. Now is the end of story time, story time, story time. Now is the end of story time. So it's time to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Don't get too hot. I know what I'm going to do. 
Yeah, I'm going to have a nice drink of water. Please don't go in my house. <laughs> oh. Bye.